welcome to the world of the X-Men, where we celebrate the extraordinary. We are bold. The one thing people don't know is that I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Unapologetic. I'm living a retired life without having yet retired. And love to have fun. I try to be romantic <laughs> now. This is the Phantom Extraordinaire. In our first segment, our X-Men, Jeff and Janet, have been tasked to answer all the questions in the Xbox. What? Warn me, surely. <laughs> you never know what question you'll find in there. Let's see how it goes. So I'm Jeff Koinange. Would never have been able to tell. <laughs> Janet Mbogwa. Of course mm -mm. you are. <laughs> it's so good, good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah. Looking fantastic. Thank you, you too. So, should we go straight to the... Uh... Let's, let's do it. I'm nervous, but let's do it. I think, <laughs> I think you're up first. All right. Keeping it 100x. Keeping it 100. Oh, here we I'm go. So here we go. Here okay. we go. Okay. Question number one. Janet, mm -hmm. what did you learn about marriage from your parents? Yeah, this is, <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> I'll just say it's a journey and so navigate it in your own personal way. Very good. Yeah. Well done. Oof. Well done. Wow, that's a bit, that was so heavy. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, mm. what's the one thing you'd like to get better at over the next year? Patience. Oh. Yeah, okay. better at being patient. Maybe the older I get, the less patient I am. Yeah. So work on the patience factor. I actually would think you're somebody quite patient, but it's good to be self-aware enough to say that I want to work on it. Okay, that's a good answer. Should we keep going? Let's keep going. There you go. Yeah. Janet, what's the craziest thing you've ever done and would do it again? Oh, wow. <laughs> Bungee jumping. Just before you hit the water, it's actually very freeing and beautiful. Yeah. There was something very surreal about the experience, but it is pretty crazy, right, to bungee jump. That rope? Yeah. Would you? Um, yeah. Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. It's like skydiving. Yeah. Have you done skydiving no. before? No. Still on the bucket list. So I'm going to hold you to it. Bungee jumping? And skydiving. Okay. Jeff. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good. Uh -oh. What has been your most memorable interview? You know, I'm not throwing names out there, but you know, when you think about someone like Nelson Mandela. I was just <laughs> going to say, he's going to say Mandela. <laughs> Because you know what? Name drop. How was that? Oh my goodness. And yeah. you know, it's just the presence you feel in the room. Even if it's a room full of people, you feel you're the only one. Wow. He's going to say, oh, I remember. Oh, <laughs> you're a good man. That's really, I thought my Mandela impersonation is because I go, <laughs> hi, I'm not one Mandela. You see? Very good. That's not bad. Wait, what's the most interesting thing he, you remember him saying in your interview? The fact that after 27 years in prison, he walked out and was ready to forgive. Wow. 27 years in prison. Imagine, mm -hmm. if you're a 27 year old today, mm. all your life spent in jail. Yeah. You come out and you don't have a single bad bone mm. or bad thought or feeling about anyone. Yeah. And he meant it. Yeah. He just didn't say it, he meant it. Mm -hmm. That was deep. That was so deep. Yeah. I, yeah. I covered his funeral. <laughs> But still, it was just being in the presence of the people whose lives he impacted yeah. and everything. Amazing, amazing. Okay, you're next. Janet, mm -hmm. what's the most desperate thing you have ever done to get noticed? What? <laughs> First of all, why am I getting these questions? First of all, why am I not being asked about my most memorable interview? You know what? Fine. <laughs> the most desperate thing I've done to get noticed. <laughs> Noticed by someone, maybe. Well, okay, there was this time in Malaysia. It was shortly after the tsunami, but I went there for uni. And sort of three days in, there was a benefit concert. And all these celebrities were in town. I was a young college student with my friends. And so boys to men were walking past. And we, I don't know if this is, but we screamed like crazy <laughs> to the point where the press, we had the press's attention because right. we needed their attention. We were like, it's boys to men. We will never see them again. We've loved them all our lives. So that was the one thing I remember because we were almost climbing over the rails trying to scream their name and I was leading the chant. So maybe that's the craziest thing I've done is scream after a celebrity. And eventually they came back and we had a chat and signed autographs and that was that. Boys to men. Mm -hmm. Boys to men. But do Good you times. say? Good times. Good and fun do times. Do you say? <laughs> uh -oh. Jeff. Yeah. What's the naughtiest thing you've ever done while in school? <laughs> I like that your eyes are wide and like, naughtiest what? <laughs> while in school. Naughtiest thing you've ever done while in school. While in school? Yeah. Hmm, my God. 
<laughs> Too many to count. So were many. We, were, you, were you a troublemaker in school? I, you know, I, would, I guess not troublemaker. It's just, you know, and, and I look at kids of today and I see this, they're so resistant. Yeah. They're all against the system. You know, people are so bold. And that was very rare in our time. Yeah. Very rare. So one time, um, we uh, decided we were going to go and um, uproot this sign on Koinange Street. <laughs> yeah, it was a challenge. Wait, <laughs> was, was it you who was challenged because yes. of the name? Yes, because of the name. Wow. Yeah, a day to go bring your street here. Wait, so did you, did you actually uproot the sign? Are we rolling? Are we, are we it's okay. A, this is a safe space. It's just between you and me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you're just going to leave it as is. Next question. <laughs> I those feel like were, I know the answer. That's a good those one. Those were fun That's times. a good dare, though. It was That's a good a very dare. good dare. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Central Police Station right around That's the corner? That's <laughs> true. I'll have your back if that oh, counts. Thank you. I got Appreciate you. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Janet. Yes. How easy or hard was your big career transition? Of course, it started with fear of the unknown-ish, because I had done mainstream media for 10 years. I just felt like I needed to step back for various reasons, but I had planned it six months in advance. Hmm. I didn't just wake up and say, this is, this is it. Yeah. Six months in advance, I knew I needed a moment. I never expected that it would allow me to do so much more, because in those first two months, I just thought, okay, I know I've got some gigs, and I know I have you know, a, a lot of activities and projects I can do, but still it's fair when you've known something for 10 years. Um, so initially, I wouldn't say it's, I don't think it's ever been hard because it was very intentional, but it was a bit scary yeah. the first month or two. And when people are like, why did you do that? Why would you make that decision? So you also start questioning, but thankfully I extended a lot of what I do online and that just changed my life. It's very bold, by the way. It's very daring. It is, right? It's very daring. Yeah. One day I'll talk about exactly why I did it. Oh. There's, a, there's a big story behind it. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. Coming oh. soon. Coming soon. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> but yeah, so one day I'll talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nice, nice. Let's see. Well done. Jeff, what was the worst text that you have ever sent to the wrong person? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> what time are we meeting? <laughs> What time are we meeting? Okay, please tell me how that's going. No, and then, oh, no, on. no. <laughs> Can you imagine? To the, and as soon as you send it, you're like, oh no. You know you send it to the wrong person. Wow. And the answer is, huh? <laughs> Janet, <laughs> how are you making your mark in the world? I think by using my platform in whichever way, to make people feel like they're allowed to thrive. So I'm hoping my mark will be that she allowed me the space and the platform to either impact change or to be myself or to share my truth. I, I guess that's what it'd be mm. in a nutshell, yeah. Jeff, mm. what's one topic you could talk about on end? <laughs> <laughs> Fatherhood. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What comes to mind when you say fatherhood? What's the one thing that's made you have that broad smile it's, on your it's face? It's just, you know, the, 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 the feeling that that little person depends 110% on you. Mm. You know, they're so helpless and, you know, it's, they, they cannot do without you. And you're the one who's going to make sure mm. that that kid will grow up to be whatever they grow up to be. So it's... It, that's, it's incumbent upon you. Like you have young children. Yeah. So those, they depend on you. Yeah. And I can talk about this till the cows come home. I think. And the joy and of the, it. Yeah, I know. You look, I, I love how it sparked that yeah. joy in your face. I, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I could talk about yeah. motherhood and parenthood to no end. So, yeah, yeah. it's, it just changes your life. You Could hear it all the time until you become one. Yes. And I say, I, I keep telling people, I feel like I was reintroduced to myself when I had my children. Look at that. Yeah, it gave me a whole new perspective on just being very intentional. Yeah. A whole love that you can't quite describe. It's, it's as daunting as it is beautiful, I think, parenthood. Love it. Love, love it. it. Love, love it. it. Love it. Okay, Janet. Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, how comfortable are you with public displays of affection? Maybe one. <laughs> <laughs> seriously? Yeah, seriously. Uh, Holding hands? Um, 
It's funny, I've just never been a huge fan. I'm not averse to it completely. I just, I'm generally pretty private in that department. So public displays, yeah. Wow. Maybe a few glasses of wine in me and could change that. <laughs> but otherwise, it's a one. Jeff, when did you know you wanted to be a journalist? You know what, I didn't. From the beginning, I never thought I would, you know, uh, I'd want to be a journalist. It happened literally quite by chance. And a lot of people know this story of mine. When I was a flight attendant for Pan Am way back in the 80s. And, you know, I used to make the announcements on the plane. And I'd say, hey, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Pan American, Clipper flight number 089 from Nairobi with continuing services to Lagos, Monrovia, Dakar, and New York. You see, I remember wow. 35 years later. So I used to make these announcements seven times out of 10. Passengers would be, oh my goodness, oh, is that, is, is, is that an audio recording? Is that a real voice? Passengers, strangers. Wow. And then the, my fellow flight attendants would say, no, it's that guy over there. You see that guy? It's that guy. After the service, when I'd walk through the aisles, you know, like how flight attendants do, and they'd say, listen, young man, listen, you're wasting your time. Go do something with that voice. One day you'll make a lot of money with that voice. I had no clue, Janet. I had no clue. And from then, I, that's when I discovered, mm -hmm. that's my talent. Right there, deep in my throat, that's my talent. That's such a beautiful story. Did you immediately follow through or did yeah, it so take now, you a while? I, it took me a while. Yeah. In, the, in, the, in the beginning, we'll be like, oh, come on, man. I'm having fun. This is, I'm acting. This is great fun. You know, and I'm you know, flying the world for free. And I said, no way, no way. But yes, after a while, we, then they kept insisting, go to school, get that degree, become a journalist. Mm. Imagine. Here you are now. And the rest, as they say. Is history. <laughs> I can't say it in Jeff's signature. <laughs> and the rest, as they say, is history. Oh, my. That was an oh, my. <laughs> I'm going to practice that. Okay. I'll steal that signature line. Janet. Yeah. What's the hardest thing about writing a book? Trying to make everyone around you understand the vision. Because you've got yourself, then you have the publisher, the editor. Um, Sometimes it's very frustrating because you know how you want the book to come out. You know what message you want it to bring out. Um, sometimes, you know, there's pushback because there's people who say, we've done this for many years. And I say, I respect that, that this is my vision. So I would say that, I think, is, was, was the hardest thing about writing my first book. Um, and just, it's daunting. Like, who writes a book? Yeah. I know you, how many have you published now? Two? Two. Two. Yeah. You? One. Well done. Well, the second edition I've also, oh, um, you know, published again. Well done. But yeah, you too. Well yeah. done. For what about for you? Starting. Okay. You know, all the thoughts are in your head, right? Yeah. You know this thing. You can see this book yourself. But then, you know, starting, get on, getting on that laptop and then starting, what's the first line? What's the first chapter? Mm -hmm. How do you start? That's the toughest part. Yeah. And then, of course, midway through, you get writer's blog, mm -hmm. right? I'm sure it happened to you. Yeah. Midway through, it's like, oh, goodness. Where do I go from here now? What happens now? And did you have a deadline for when it needed to be published? Uh, no, I didn't have a deadline because I didn't have a publisher in the beginning. Mm. Yeah. It took me seven years to write my second book. Wow. Seven years. Okay. Uh, this is going well. This is really going it well. is. I'm having fun. I'm having fun getting to know you. <laughs> I, I, I haven't known you like this. And there's a lot of similarities. Uh, there somehow. are. Yes. Look at that. That's, that's really good. So, Jeff, mm -hmm. what have you learned about people from interviewing them? You learn that everyone's human. You know, and, and, and sometimes we look up to some people and say, my God, this person, this, that, the other person. And you learn they're human at the end of the day. Yeah. You With know? their insecurities and fears. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a, and it's a lesson every day. Every time you think you know something, you learn something else. Who wrote these questions? I know. These people, this is deep, man. It's Jeez, deep. man. We're supposed You're to be keeping it 100. <laughs> Let's just have some, you know, yeah. banter. Yeah. It's like, no, open up about your lives. <laughs> Pour out your hearts. All right, yeah. this, this one's a good one. You like this one. Janet. Yes. What are the most, you most proud about during your traditional media years? Oh, mm. that's a nice one. Yeah. I think the one thing I'm proud of is that I never lost... Um, the will to want to do better, that every bulletin has to be a great bulletin yeah. and being very intentional about that. And I think it, I think it, it paid off because people still appreciate it. They say you're only as good as your last broadcast. Exactly. Oh, there well you done. go. Well, well done. Thank you. Oh, good that was good a one. nice one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what's the silliest excuse you've ever used to get out of a date? I've got diarrhea. <laughs> 
won me surely. <laughs> Hey, there's a ton of easy excuses you could have used. I had to go. I had to go there. Eh? And yeah. So you. So you. You said I need yeah. to go. Yes. And then like, you went. No. I, I, you know, it was on the phone. I was like, I can't make it oh because I've got the runs. Okay. Yes. And you know, you know. You, yeah. You can't fight that. How can do you, you fight runs? <laughs> yeah, diarrhea is a good one. Yeah, it's a good run. It's a <laughs> No pun intended. Wow. Now that our X-Men are well acquainted, <laughs> it's time for the Tastemaker's Verdict. We challenged our X-Men to rate different things out of 10. Okay, oh, so... Next section. Next section, we're, we're rating these from 1 to 10. Oh, okay, since I started last time, why don't you go, Jen? Love it, thank you, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hiking. Oh, 8. Ooh. Love hiking. Love hiking. Yeah, I've done Mount Kilimanjaro, all the way to Uhuru Peak. Yeah, 5,890 meters. Embarabara. I'm a bit non committal, so I'll just say an average. Okay. You know. You give him a five. Give him a five, five, right. six, yeah. You? He's tried, huh? Yeah. Only, the fact that six, he's. Maybe oh, six. Yeah. yeah. He's very relevant. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with six, too. Okay. I'll go with six. Oof. <laughs> These things, I'm even scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Ndudi. It's a tough one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, midway, I'll give him five. Yeah. I'll there's room, him, for, for, there's for, room for improvement. Yeah, I'll give him six, seven. Okay. National Park. Eight, right yeah. up there. Very calming. Yeah, Very so calming. calming. Your turn. <laughs> Tupac. Yeah, Tupac, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a shout out to all hip hop fans. Ten, I'm giving him ten. You're giving him ten. Ten. When I was young and my mother had me, 17 years old. Mm -hmm. You can keep going. I will. Oh, come on, that's a whole album. <laughs> Waiting for an album. <laughs> that's true. Oh, you ready for this? No, <laughs> I don't think so. Gekomba. Oh. One to ten. One to ten. Eight? Mm. Seven, eight? Mm. You get some of the best, <laughs> best stuff. When's the last time in you were there? Um, I haven't been there in a minute. Sometimes I have maybe. Somebody help mm -hmm. bring me yeah, stuff, yeah. but when I... But you have your contacts in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mutura. <laughs> Good stuff, huh? Oh, I love the it. The best. I love it. Yeah. And maybe that's why I got the runs that time. <laughs> you didn't actually have them, but no, you convinced no, no. yourself you did. Because <laughs> you were trying to get yeah. out of the date. Mutura out of ten, nine. Yeah. Solid nine, especially well made. Well made. Yes. I'm with you on that, it nine. Has, if has... it's well made, it's some of the best tasting. Mm, juicy. Now I want some. Oh, you know? I want yeah. mm. <laughs> Gengetone. <laughs> um, it was nice at first because it was fresh, it was honest, it was fun. Um, uh, six and a half, seven. Seven, mm. maybe six yeah. and a half. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Matatu. Eight and a half. Yeah. Because when I first took a Matatu, and that's you know, 30 plus years ago, it was four shillings from Banana Hill to Old Nation Center. Wow. And those were, you know, it was so fun. Yeah. It was so safe. Yeah. It was such a great time. Yeah. For Bob. For Bob. I can't even. Uh, uh, yeah. 30 plus years later, it's evolved. Mm. It's a culture. And it's a way of life. Yeah. Oga movies. Oh, this one now, again, damned if you do, damned if you don't. <laughs> you know what? For the fact that they churn them out like every second, yeah. props. Yeah to turning it into a whole industry globally. For that in itself, I'll give them, you know, a seven. But to be honest, it's just not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's not, but I, I love what the industry has yeah. done. You know, I lived in Nigeria for five years. So, um, you know, I was deep in that and I could see it. And the fact that, like you said, how they export their culture, mm -hmm. How everyone in the world say, ah, oh God, ah. <laughs> and they're starting to speak Nigerian, pidgin yeah. English. Yeah. It's incredible how they've managed. Yeah. And the longevity of these movies. The longevity and just yeah. the fandom behind them. Oh. I love the culture, yeah. you know, exporting the culture, whether it's the language, whether it's the fashion, yeah. just generally yeah. Nigeria, yeah. it's fascinating. But yeah, when it comes to the movies, I know the kind of movies yeah. I like and what I look out for. Not my cup of tea, but for longevity. Yeah. Solid. Solid. Solid for longevity. Eight. I'll go with seven. You go with seven? Yeah. I'll give them eight. You give them eight? Yeah. Okay. Well done. Yay! That's a great feature. Great segment. That was fun. Before we wrap up, we challenged our X-Men to take the ultimate selfie. But the selfie must feature an item that means something to them. Okay, Janet, you go first. 
What did you bring? My first time. Yeah, no, well thank done. you. Well so um, the first one sold out in the beginning of 2020 because mm. it's a book about stories on menstrual health. It was a way to bring awareness yeah. and to just use storytelling as a tool for impact. How about you, Jeff? The book is basically my memoirs. Yeah. Because of the front row seat that I had to history unfolding. You know, and in Africa, I've been to 47 of the 54 countries. What's your favorite African country? Kenya. <laughs> Safest answer. You know? I don't want to escape the Emmy. Uh, no, no. Jeff, because not a lot of people Correct. have this. And, and this was not covering Africa. You know, believe it or not. You know, the irony is I got this when I was part of a team that covered Hurricane Katrina back in 2005 as part of you know, the whole CNN team and we went in there, they called us in there when, when, when the levees burst and New Orleans was underwater and we spent like more than a month on the ground every day, reporting every day, every day and we ended up with, with this baby here. Oh, Thank I you. love it. We need to take pictures with Yes, our, we do. Uh, it's go. almost time to say Kwaheri, but first, a few photos to capture the memories with a brand new Phantom X and we're taking these photos in the dark. Yeah, look at that. It's in super night mode right now as we speak. Look at that. This is so cool. It, uh -huh, shooting in super night mode. There you go, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. I thank everyone <laughs> for coming for my show. <laughs> Next week on The Phantom Extraordinaire, we hang out with Kenya's favorite couple. I try to be romantic now. Nameless uh... and Wahoo. What aspects do you miss about being single? Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. Can you remember what I was wearing when we first met? I do you ever feel jealous if you see me talking to <laughs> other like attractive people? I'm like, why are you smiling with my cheek, Why? why? I 